All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites going day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, our praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into it. Uh, Ezekiel 13 chapter there. And I'm going to just uh, run through the whole chapter. Yahweh Ezekiel 13 and 1. <clears throat> and the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy. All right. And say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of Yahweh. Okay, so what is this talking about? Them of the circumcision. You have Israelites that know they're Israelites, but they're uh, preaching um, false doctrines. All right. They, they may have the skin and the flesh like Ezekiel 37 speaks about, but they don't have the breath. Okay. They don't have the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And it says they're um, uh, prophesying out of their own hearts, which, which means what? They are leaning to their own understanding, as Proverbs speaks about, all right? Their vain opinions, as Sirach speaks about, okay? Verse 3, Thus saith Yahweh thy power, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit. S hey, what scripture popping in your head? Self-willed are they. Vain and unruly, man. Okay? Like I said, uh, leaning uh, uh, to their own understanding, so on and so forth, following their own heart, okay? Hey, seeking after their own righteousness, you know? Going up another way, all right? And it says, and have seen nothing. So all these uh, dramatic and uh, bullshit-ass, sugar-coated, breakdowns, magnificent breakdowns, so to speak, outlandish breakdowns, so to speak, is all bullshit. You have seen nothing. Okay? And it says, verse 4, or, O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the desert. All right? And this is talking about the wicked prophets, man. All right? Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither up the uh, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. So you guys ain't going out there to the streets and the corners and building up Israel, man. All right. Trying to give them a solid foundation. You guys are not doing that, man. OK, what, what you giving the people out here? Sour grapes, defiled bread. All right. What you giving the people out here is a, a, a bogus foundation. OK. And so when all hell comes through, hey, them people are going to get fucked up because of the shit you preaching. Okay? Especially you niggas that's not even going out to preach. All right? You ain't a watchman. You ain't building up nothing. You ain't watching. All right? You ain't filling up the gaps. So on and so forth. Okay? It says, neither made up the heads for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh, which you guys are not. Okay? They have seen vanity and lying divinations, saying, Yahweh saith. And that's what these niggas do. All right? Well, ain't the understanding. All right? Uh, the elders broke it down wrong. This is what Yahweh's really saying. Hey, this is the context of Yahweh by Shimei Hoshai. No, the Lord didn't tell you that, man. All right? And it's obvious the Lord didn't tell you that, man. Okay? It says, And Yahweh have not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they will confirm the word. So, like, hey, like the scriptures say, you guys make uh, the people that's following you twice a child of hell. I mean, uh, twice a child of hell than you. All right? Because it says what? Uh, you, you gave others hope. Uh, that they will confirm the word. See, it's true. I, he believe in it. He believe in it. Oh, he received the understanding. Which, that's not the case. Okay? Verse 7. Ye have seen uh, a vain vision, <laughs> and have not... Uh, ye have not seen a... Uh, Salakia. It says, Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, Yahweh saith, Albeit I have not spoken. Lord didn't listen, Lord didn't give you those breakdowns. The left-handed seducing spirit gave you that. Alright? 
Because that, hey, that was the lust of your flesh anyway, so you gave into it, okay? And this is to all you false prophets, man, all right? All you that, uh, that's not in the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the truth, hey, the hell with you. And if you don't wake up out that madness, hey, the hell with you, okay? Okay, um, verse 8. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh thy power, because ye have spoken vanities and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, saith Yahweh thy power. And my hand should be upon the prophets that see vanity and divine lies, and they should not be in the... Now, listen, the Lord is going to fuck you guys up, man. He said his hand is going to be upon you, man. All right? Which means judgment is coming to you guys for a for lying on the Lord. Honestly, you lying on the Lord. That's blaspheme. Well, Yahweh say, saith, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's exactly what y'all saying. The Lord has have not sent you niggas, man. Okay? Um, let's go up. All right, verse 9, it says, My hand should be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be ridden of the house of Israel. Now, me and the brother of Tazarani was going over a topic the other day. All right, you, you two-third niggas are still going to get the kingdom of heaven. You st hey, you still going to get uh, that glory of the new covenant. All right, you still going to be gods, man. But talking about, uh, uh, you know, talk about having everlasting shame and content. That's that's fucking crazy. Yeah, we know the Lord's gonna wipe away all sorrows for our eyes, but to live like that for eternity, hey, that's being in heaven, yet at hell at the same time, knowing that you fucked up. Now the mass majority, two thirds, hey, they gonna die. A lot of them gonna die not knowing, man. All right. But for you niggas that do know, for you to come into this faith and then twist it and mingle it or fall out, the Lord is going to jack you up and you're going to remember that in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, you're going, hey, you're going to be a God, you're going to be a king, you're going to be all that good stuff. And yeah, that comes with a certain order uh, order in a certain level. All right? But guess what? You, got, you still got to live with that fact, man. Let's talk about living in hell. I mean, uh... Being in heaven, yet in hell at the same time. Talk about balance, man. That, that's fucked up, man. And this, like I said, that's a story for a different day because that's really a thought to wrap your uh, your head around, man. You know? Um, Verse 10. Because, ye, because even... It says, because even because... They have seduced my people. All right, because listen, th them themselves are seduced by them damn spirits. So now they're seducing the spirit. I mean, sed uh, seducing the people. They're putting those spirits on the people, man. All right, saying peace, and there was no peace. Uh, uh, and uh, one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. So if it's, hey, untempered mortar ain't going to last, man. That's just going to fall right apart, man. So you guys are really uh, winging it. So to speak, man. We hey, we need true laborers, man. Hard workers, man, to build the wall and, and, and know what they're doing. Not niggas like y'all, man. Okay? It says, And it shall fall, and shall be an overflowing flower. And ye, O great hailstone, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. And we all know that wind is coming to fuck shit up, right? All right? But this makes me think of the parables and uh, uh, of that uh, solid foundation, which I started off with, man. All right? When that wind and that storm come, if that shit ain't solid, if that shit is untempered, that shit's getting blown away, man. All right? That's why we put our faith on the rocky how about shit, man. All right? <clears throat> it says, it says, and when the wall is falling, shall it not be said unto you, Where's the daubing wherein you had daubed it? <laughs> hey, where's your God, man? And hey, when all this shit start to uh, 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 come down and be fucked up, hey, go to your lovers, man. Hey, hey go to the sellers and buy, man. All right? Go to your gods. All right? Verse 13, Therefore, thus saith you have that power, I will even rend it with a stormy wind of, of my fur. Uh, in my fury, 
And it says, but, uh, what is that? Lo, the Lord comes in the, uh, the fury of a, a whirlwind, and he's going to stand fire, basically, man. And he says, and there should be an overflowing shower in my anger. <clears throat> so picture that, hot anger, man. All right? And great hailstones in my fury shall consume it. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of nukes, man. Okay? You guys want to taste that second death. Verse 14. So I will break down the wall that you have daubed with untempered mortar and bring bring it down to the ground. And guess what? That's already started. All right? Because Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh has his men breaking down strongholds. Hewing, uh, uh, like it says in Jeremiah, right? We hewing uh, different things down, man. Okay? Um... Damn, it's another precept. I know the elders. I was just listening to the elders the other day, basically on the same topic of the prophets, you know, taking these battlements down. But nonetheless, back to this, you know, I can look it up because Lord knows I will. <laughs> but um, it says, verse 14, I will break down the wall where you have dug with untempered mortar and bring it down to the ground so the foundation thereof should be discovered. All right, you guys are going to be known for who you truly are, man. All right? And, it's, and it shall fall. And ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. <laughs> All right? Verse 15, I will accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that daubed it. All right? The Lord's going to break that shit down, break it all up. You and your doctrine. All right? And will say unto you, the wall is no more, neither they that daubed it. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning uh, Jerusalem, which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, if you have that power. Likewise, thy son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people. Now, this is dealing with the women, right, who prophesied out of their own heart, and uh, prophesied thou uh, against them. So you bitches that think you could... Uh, especially you, you so-called nigger women in churches, man. Hey, this is really going to you. And then you other nigger women that's trying to out, be out here, super Israelite women, want to preach to the man, which that's off. But a lot of you women got bugged out doctrines within uh, within Israel, man. All right? It says, which prophesies out their own heart and prophesy out thou against them and say, Thus say if you have that part, woe unto you women that sew pillows to armholes and make uh, kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. All right. Hey, and that's what you women are. That's exactly what you women are, man. Fucking traps. OK. But more importantly, you you trapping the souls of the Lord's people, man. That's looking for the truth. All right. Will he hunt the souls of my people? Will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? And will you pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread? All right. So whatever they could get out the people, whether it's money, whether it's some materialistic shit. All right. The whole thing is to get over on the Jake. I'm going to give you some bullshit and get over on you, man. All right. To slay their souls that they shall not. All right. So lock it back at it. I had a younger brother call me. Um. Cool, so anyway, this is, uh, what part was that? I know how something about, uh, I'm a bit barley, so it was, okay, it says, it says, uh, verse 19, it says, will you pollute me among people for handfuls of barley and pieces of bread to slay the souls that they, uh, that should not die? All right, yeah, it's, it's just to slay the souls that should not die, all right? Because you have people out here, all right, that's looking for the truth, all right? And and then here's the reverse side to it, and to save the souls alive that should not live. So you guys rather kill the righteous that's looking for the truth, all right? But the wicked, you rather them live, man, all right? That's totally backwards, man. By your lying to my people, uh... By your lying to my people that hear your lies, man. And that's what if that's what you've done to the people, man, that hear your lies, man. The wicked live and the righteous man die, all right? Be because you're giving him defiled bread, man. All right? You're not giving him the truth. You're not giving him the breath of life, man. How can you uh, uh 
want this man to live and breathe like you if you can't even give him the breath of life? And I'm talking about this wisdom, man. You, you know why you... Listen, you niggas can't give nobody the breath of life because you ain't got the breath of life your damn selves, man. Okay? It says, verse 20, Wherefore, thus saith you have that power. Behold, I am against your pillows, man. Ye that hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms. And I will take, and I will let the souls go, even the souls uh, that ye hunt, to make them fly. Hold on, let me go up. All right, it says, because, uh, verse 21, your, your kerchiefs will like tear and deliver my people out of your hands. And they should be no more in the hands uh, in the hands to be haunted. And ye should know that I am the uh, Yahweh. Now look at this. You got a lot of these people that's coming out of these uh, this bullshit Christianity churches, man. All right? The Lord is rending them out of your hand, man, because he got his men, all right, tearing down your battlements, man. Your strongholds, man. All right? It says... Um, it says, because with lies, ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Like I was saying earlier, man. Whom I have not made sad. Like y'all said, man. So you're going to kill the ones that, that should not be killed? And you're going to keep the ones alive that should not be alive, basically. So you made the righteous sad, whom I uh, have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked. That he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Going back to what I just said in the earlier scripture in verse 19. Okay? That's completely back backwards. Alright? That's just like saying woe unto him. Uh, that's just like saying uh, rewarding uh, evil for good and good for evil. I, I forget exactly how it's written in Isaiah, but it's something to that accord. Alright? In verse 23, Therefore you should no more see vanities nor uh, divine divinations. For I'll deliver the people out of your hand, and you should know that I am Yahweh. And that will happen. All right. With that, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abide the ball. Death to you, two thirds. And death to you, false prophets. And death to you, fucking nigga woman that ain't going to get right. And I'm talking about you, you fuckers in, um, that's so called in the truth. That's, hey, just like Ezekiel 13 said, man, all right, and you women in these church houses, man, all right, if your ass meant for death, hey, to hell with you, man, with that, shalom to the elect.